When you pack for your Royal Caribbean cruise, what items should you absolutely, positively carry with you on board instead of delivering to your room later on? I've got a list of the most important things to keep in your carry-on up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and when you pack for a Royal Caribbean cruise, you're inevitably going to be bringing on certain things with you in your carry-on luggage, and certain items go in your checked luggage. When you get to the cruise terminal, you give your luggage to the porters to be delivered to your room, and this way you don't have to bring everything with you, especially your heavy luggage, but there are some things you should absolutely bring with you, and so I want to make sure that while there's certain levels of ambiguity in terms of what you should or shouldn't bring with you in your carry-on versus what you check... But I think there are a couple of things that are absolutely critical that you carry with you in your carry-on item. So I've got this list that I wanted to share with you because the last thing I want to have anybody do is get to the cruise terminal and realize they made an oopsie. Let's start off with the most important thing, and that is your travel documents. In short, you're not getting on the cruise ship without these things. So you don't want to put them in your checked luggage. It would create a major mistake. I know that every time I give my luggage to the porters, one of the first things the porters will ask is say, okay, do you have all your passports and documents with you? Of course, say yes, but this is a good opportunity to remind all of you that it's really important to have your boarding documents, including your passport and your negative COVID test. This could also include, by the way, your driver's license, birth certificate, really anything else that you need to identify yourself. Now, your set sail pass is probably on your phone in the form of the Royal Caribbean app, but if you printed that out, you need to bring that with you as well. But it is critical that you have these boarding documents with you so that way you can show them when you check in. If you were to put it in your checked luggage, it would create a major problem. I don't even know what would happen, actually. They'd have to go, like, track it down within the system. Uh, it would be a nightmare of a of epic proportion. So your best bet is to keep all your travel documents with you in your carry-on luggage. That you got to, like, check, double-check, and triple-check. When we leave the house, before, like, I leave the driveway, I will just double-check again that I've got all those things with me. Number two, equally important, not necessarily for your check-in, but for your literal well-being, and that is medication. Do not put your medication in your checked luggage. The reason being, if your luggage was to be lost, and it's unlikely that would be occur, but if it was, you'd lose your medication. If you have prescription medicine, you absolutely want to keep it with you in your carry-on luggage. Whether it's the medication you need for today or throughout your cruise, keep it all with you in your carry-on luggage. That way you don't lose track of it and there's no worries about it getting lost in any case. Next are any drinks you're bringing on board the ship. While Royal Caribbean doesn't allow you to bring any alcohol on board, it does allow a limited amount of non-alcoholic beverages to be brought with you on embarkation day. Specifically, you can bring up to 12 standard 17-ounce cans, bottles, or cartons per room of your favorite non-alcoholic beverage like soda or bottled water. In addition, baby food and formula is allowed to be brought on board. In addition, Royal Caribbean also allows you to bring up to two 750-milliliter bottles of wine or champagne per stateroom with you. There's no cost to enjoy the wine in your room, but a corkage fee may be charged if you bring the bottle to a restaurant or a bar. You should definitely pack these items in your carry-on luggage. Do not put it in your checked luggage for two reasons. Number one, it may break, you know, in just the transit, and that obviously would mean it's going to get all of your stuff. And number two, Royal Caribbean's x-ray machines will see a bottle or can and not be able to tell if it's alcohol or not. So then security is going to hold the bag and delay its arrival to your stateroom later on. It creates a big problem for you. So what you want to do instead is put it in your carry-on luggage. Heck, if, even if you bring, you know, a six-pack or a 12-pack and a case of, you know, sodas, just bring it with you. You don't have to pack it in. Just bring it with you on board the ship. That way you won't have any problem with it getting it on board and making sure that it's safe in its transit. Next on my list of things you should absolutely pack in your carry-on luggage are electronics, especially electronics that have value to them like iPads, Kindles, and phones. Basically, the reason why I'm telling you to put in your carry-on luggage or in your pockets is because you just want to make sure that they don't break. Like I said earlier about drinks and things of that nature, your bags are going to be tossed and jostled throughout the process. The last thing you want to have happen is that they're broke or, of course, if something gets lost like a bag and your electronics are in there, that would obviously be a big problem, especially with trying to recoup them. So it can be a really good idea to keep in your carry-on luggage. It's also a really good idea that while since you're keeping your Kindle and laptops and all that with you in your carry-on, make sure you have your charging cords with them. The last thing you want to do is be able to, you know, bring those stuff on board and then realize, oops, you forgot your camera cord or the charging cord is somewhere else or that gets lost. So just keep it with you in your carry-on luggage. I think that's a really good idea. This next carry-on bag item must pack is something that actually I'll admit I don't ever pack it, but it's a really good idea. So do as I say, not as I do. And that is a change of clothes. Listen, if you're flying to your cruise or you're getting on board the ship and something does get lost in transit, 
having a spare set of clothes to change into would really be a lifesaver just to get you through the next 24 hours or so. Let me be clear, it's really rare for a luggage to be lost, but this is really worst case scenario, best to be prepared kind of an approach to things. So it's a good idea to have maybe an extra set of underwear and clothes in your carry-on. So that way, if you need to, you could change into it later on if you needed some extra time. In addition, it's always a good idea to maybe include your swimsuit in your carry-on luggage because when you get on board your Royal Caribbean ship, the pools and the water slides and the floor rider will be open and available for you to go to. But most people pack your bathing suits in your checked luggage. And as a result, they gotta wait for that baggage to be delivered in order to change. Meanwhile, you have your bathing suit, you can go to a public restroom and change, and then you get to enjoy the water slides and the floor rider and the pools with far fewer people and lines and crowds. It's one of the best times to take advantage of it. So in addition to having a change of clothes, which is a good proactive thing just in case to have, in addition, having your swimsuit with you will allow you to take advantage of those really low lines. And the last item in my must-pack carry-on baggage list would be definitely any valuables you have, like your wallet, cash, credit cards, etc. I can't even imagine, quite frankly, people who put their cash or credit cards in their checked luggage. That just makes me feel really uneasy. But just as a point of reminder, it's a good idea to keep it on with you. So that way you have access to it. Number one, this is also about, you know, obviously not getting lost, but also in case you need your cash for whatever reason. So it's a really good idea to keep your cash, credit cards, even keys with you in your carry-on luggage so you know where it is and there's little chance of it getting lost. Now, in terms of what bag you should have for your carry-on, it's a really good idea to have something light that can also be easy to move. Certainly a rolling bag, like a rolling duffel bag or a spin or a piece of luggage can be a really good idea because they're compact and can fit, of course, underneath your seat in an airplane situation. So it's a really good idea to make sure you have something that's kind of on the smaller side, maybe 20 or 22 inches in size would be a really good idea. Again, the cruise lines don't care how big your carry-on luggage is. Some people prefer backpacks because, you know, it's just easier to carry on that way. But when it comes to your carry-on, especially if you're flying, it might be a good idea to combine your carry-on for the airplane as the same one you would use for your cruise ship as opposed to bring two different kinds. If you're driving to your cruise port, then certainly a backpack is a really good idea, but the advantage of having a wheeled piece of luggage is that it may be easier to bring on board and it's less weight, obviously, on your shoulders to lug around, so that could be a consideration as well. Let me know in the comments below, what is your go-to type of carry-on luggage for a cruise? I'd love to see some recommendations for specifics on there, and which of the list of items for your cruise carry-on is the most important, and which ones do you think should be added to the list as must-packs in your cruise carry-on let me know down there below in the comments. And of course, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your notifications. That way, YouTube lets you know we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. We'll talk again real soon.